Neely and today I'm going to show you how to apply a cut wrist prosthetic and a review of it. I should also mention that I don't have any experience in special effects makeup whatsoever or stage makeup in any way, so I'm showing this to you as an unexperienced newbie. I want to see if anyone can pick this skill up after some practice. So this is the prosthetic I'm going to be using. It's called the Cut Wrist Prosthetic from Nimba Creations. I'll put the link for it in the description below. First of all, we use distilled witch hazel to clean the air of the skin where we're attaching the prosthetic. It will allow the prosthetic to adhere to the skin properly. So now we apply a prosthetic adhesive to the skin and to the back of the prosthetic using a cotton bud. Make sure you apply the adhesive as close to the edges as you can. I think this stuff might be quite difficult to get out of clothes so unlike me, probably be a bit more careful. Now apply the adhesive to the skin. Make sure it covers the whole area where you'll be putting the prosthetic. Once the adhesive is clear, you can put the prosthetic onto the skin. Gently apply the prosthetic where you want it to go. Don't press down too hard just yet. You want to be able to manoeuvre the prosthetic into place. Once it's in place, start pressing it down harder. the prosthetic is actually split open. I think this is because I placed it down slightly and then pulled it up again and ripped it because it's that thin. So be very careful. We're going to need the distilled witch hazel again and a cotton bud. Dip the cotton bud in the witch hazel and roll the cotton bud between your fingers, applying some pressure onto the ends of the prosthetic. It thins the gelatin and makes it blend to the skin properly. Now I'm using the Cryolan Supracolor palette in flesh. I'm using the colour 1W as I'm as pale as a ghost and applying this to the prosthetic. I'm applying the colour with a cosmetic sponge. The movement of my wrist kept causing prosthetic to split in different places. I tried to use more witch hazel to blend the gelatin to the skin, but it didn't seem to work, so I decided to just carry on to the bloody stuff. So to start off the blood, I used the Cryolan Aqua Colour in 080. I applied it using a wet paintbrush. On top of that, I applied colour 082 from the Cryolan Supracolor Palette B. To add a bit more depth, I added the black colour from the same palette, which is the colour 517. I then applied some fake blood, which is the Fleet Street Bloodworks Drying Blood in Dark. I used a cotton bud to apply this to the prosthetic. I really like this blood because it will dry in the way that it runs. So if I run it down there, it will dry that way. I held my arm upright to allow the blood to run down my arm. There was quite a big split in the prosthetic here, so I applied more blood to allow it to run over the split to disguise it.
it worth buying? I believe it is. It was only £5 and I think it was my fault that it went wrong. I think I placed it a bit too close to the wrist crease so you need to place it a little bit further down the wrist. That should prevent it from splitting. Thank you for watching my very first Let's Learn Gore video. If you enjoyed it please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.